Yo, what's going on guys? This is the 4th Gen Gamer here, and yo, look at that! Screenception! Holy crap, look at that! Whoa, that's a lot of screens. Yes, this is a tutorial video on the best settings for OBS Classic, the software that you could use to record and or live stream content to, you know, wherever you want, Twitch, your own computer, whatever. So, with that, this video will be focused on the quality aspect of it, and to keep it the simplest, I'm not going to be showing you anything else like setting it up or anything. Just really the settings that you're going to use for the best results. With that being said, we're going to go to every tab and I'll show you guys exactly what you'll want. I also am going to have in the description a link to a document that I made using a few different sources that I do link down there. Just showing some information for settings that are going to be important for quality and really taking into account quality only, not, you know, personal preferences and whatnot. So with that being said, we're going to just move along here. We have general, nothing here is going to be important for quality. This is all just personal preference. Encoding is going to be what is very important for your stream um, quality and your recording quality because you can use OBS to uh, record and stream, either one or both. So with that, you're gonna want usually these all checked off, everything that you see here, you're usually going to want X264. Some cases you'll want this, the NVIDIA or the Quick Sync option, but in most cases, you might as well just do the uh, X264, that is going to be your best option. Now, the big variable here is going to be your max bitrate and your buffer size. First of all, these are going to be the same number. Now, what number is it going to be? Well, that is where this chart is going to come in. If you're using Twitch, you're going to use the estimator, which I link here. Now, for any of these other recording settings, and you can even get 4K, but you'll really need a very high quality, very powerful computer for that. But for any of the other resolutions, you're going to need to do these bit rates. Now, please note, like I say here on the document, that the higher the resolution, the higher that this number gets, the more powerful the computer that you'll need. So if you have just like, you know, an older laptop or an older desktop, then recording at, you know, 1080p 60 or 1080p 30 may not be the best. And you'll have to play around with it until you find what is going to work best for you. But if you're going on Twitch, you can't go over that 3500 mark. If you're going to be recording for YouTube, though, you can always just, you know, play around with it and try out different bit rates to what you would like. With that, for the audio encoding, you could keep it at AAC and 48. That's going to be your best quality audio. And for Twitch, you're going to need to bring it down to 160. For YouTube, you could do 256 or even higher if you want. 320 is the highest option that you have there. And stereo sound. As for broadcast settings, there's really not a whole lot here that is going to be related to quality. This is more so functionality, so pretty self-explanatory. If you're doing Twitch, you fill everything out. The things that are important here are your URL. Pick whatever is closest to you. That is going to make a difference for lag and delay and not delay, but just consistency and the best overall stream possible. So for delay, you could set that as well. That is also going to be important for, uh, you know, the quality of your stream to the viewers. The lower the delay, the less time it is between, you know, you saying something and the chat seeing it. So play around with the delay and see how low that you could get it before the stream is inconsistent. If your stream, you're finding it to be crashing or you're just having trouble with it, the delay is something that you can adjust accordingly. So keep on adjusting this higher if you are having problems and you could lower it if you are doing okay. Now you can see here, I'm recording this video for YouTube, so my settings aren't really good for Twitch right now. You could see, like I said, that 3500 and that 160, you're going to need to change that every time that you want to change between YouTube and Twitch. With that being said, we're going to go over to video, which believe it or not, there's really not a whole lot that you have to do there. Your video adapter should be automatically selected. And then for your base resolution, in most cases, 1920 by 1080 should be fine. You shouldn't have to change that. If you're going to be recording in 1440p, change that to 2560 by 1440. And from there, you can change the resolution downscale for whatever resolution that you're doing. So, you know, like we set up here, if you're doing 720p, then you're going to change this over here, this, this setting over here, change that so it's 1280 by 720. And just make sure that that resolution matches what you're aiming for. And you can also see the FPS here, you can adjust the bitrate earlier to kind of match that for the best quality. So if you're doing 720p 60 FPS, 
you want to make your bitrate around 7500 as long as your computer can handle it you make this 1280 by 720 and you make this 60. now you won't be able to change this unless you actually do downscale the filter however if you do you know if this is available if you are going to be changing this make it lanskos and as long as your computer can handle that which i'm pretty sure really any modern computer should be able to handle that you know that is the best option so with that going on to audio we're not going to save anything here because this is just a tutorial video there's really not a whole lot here that is going to apply to quality just the only thing is maybe you'll want to do a delay if your webcam has like a delay you can see i have a 200 millisecond delay after playing around with it i found out that that was the best usually you won't need to mess around with that just make sure that everything is right here this isn't really anything related to quality in terms of settings though Hotkeys, same thing. This is just personal preference. If you want to set hotkeys, you can set hotkeys, and that's all there is to it. Now, down to the last tab here. This is the advanced tab, which is something you usually don't really want to play around with. So tread with caution for all of this. And really, you're going to probably want to just match what I have right here on the screen and just stick with that. The only things that you may want to change are this CPU preset, and I think that's all that you'd really want to change. But for this preset here, this is going to be very important, all right? So if you're realizing that you're dropping a lot of frames because of your computer not being strong enough, you can make it super fast or ultra fast, and that will lower the quality of your stream. However, put less effort on your computer. So you'll be able to have a little bit more um, just durability with your computer. It'll, it'll be able to handle it better, just it'll be at lower quality. On the contrary, if you make it faster or fast, your quality will be higher, but honestly, it won't be worth it in most cases. So your best bet is very fast. That is kind of like the medium if you want to kind of compromise. If you go on any slower than that to faster or fast, it's really not worth the extra load that you're putting on your computer. It's just not worth it. With that being said, just match everything else up here, and that's all that you really need to worry about. I wouldn't really... Like, it's not really worth changing something on here because you don't want to ruin the quality of your stream just because of one little setting that you changed. Anything else that you do change, just be very careful with it. Everything else here really isn't uh, going to be that important in terms of, like, quality and just getting your stream up and running. These are the main settings, and I documented them all for you guys. So if you want to reference it, if you want to double-check something, you can check out the document right here that I made in the description on Google Docs, and I also include some sources that I got some of this information from, as well as just personal experience. With that being said, guys, I hope this was helpful. I may make a video eventually for OBS uh, Studio. That's the newer version, or uh, OBS Multiplatform, whatever it's called. Um, that is the newer version of OBS, but I know a lot of people like and use the original. So for now, this is all that I have, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this was helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more. I have a couple other settings videos if you guys want to check it out, I'll link them as a card to this video. And that's about that. Subscribe for more videos, and I will see y'all later. Peace.